Welcome to the Math Kingdom. Welcome to the Math Kingdom, everyone, where we conquer math one step at a time. Let's get ready for today's lesson. Today, we're comparing and ordering whole numbers and decimals. Which is bigger? 87 hundredths or 870 thousandths? Does a longer number always mean a greater number? Let's find out. Let's start with whole numbers. To compare them, you have to look at the digits from left to right, starting with the greatest place value. Example, which is greater, 5,432 or 5,324? Since the digits are the same in the thousands place, we check the hundreds. Now that's the first place they're different, in the hundreds place. Now, since they're different in the hundreds place, guess what we do? We compare. Which one's bigger, four or three? That's right, four is greater. So that means 5,432 is greater than 5,324. Now let's compare decimals. Here's the thing. Line up the decimal points, then compare digits in each place value, just like we did with whole numbers. All right, so we have 87 hundredths compared to 870 thousandths. All right, we're going to have to line up the decimals and by place value. All right, so each place value is lined up and the decimals are lined up. We have both of them have no ones, so the same there. Both of them have eight tenths, they're the same there. Both of them have seven in the hundreds place, they're the same there. All right, it looks like they're different in the thousands place. One of them doesn't have a placeholder. So let's put our zero placeholder. All right. Both of them have a zero in the thousandths place. So that means if everything's the same, what does that mean about both numbers? That's right. They are equal. 87 hundredths equals 870 thousandths. Let's try another. We have 610 thousandths compared to 609 thousandths. Line up each decimal by place value and the decimal. Compare each digit starting on the left. They both have a zero. They both have six in the tenths. The first place they're different is the hundreds place. The top number has a one, the bottom one has a zero, and we know one is bigger than zero, so that means 610 thousandths is greater than 609 thousandths. All right, when we order numbers, we compare them to each other. We arrange them from least to greatest or greatest to least. So let's go ahead and order these numbers. We have 5 and 32 hundredths, 5 and 3 tenths, and then we have 5 and 302 thousandths. Let's line them up and compare. All are close to 5, or about 5, but the tenths, hundreds, and thousandths help us decide. All right, so we have them all lined up vertically by decimal and place value, but all of them don't have the same place value. So let's put what? Our zero placeholders. All right, now, how do we start to compare? From the left, from the left, all right. 
I'll have five in the ones place. I'll have three in the tens place. The first place they're different is the hundreds place. Two of them have a zero and one of them have a two. So which one is the greatest? Good. Five and 32 hundredths is the greatest. So you know that's last because we said we're ordering from least to greatest. Okay, then now, since you know this is last, so, so if you put in order from least to greatest, then this is the third one. So now you look at the um, last two. So five and three tenths compared to five and three hundred two thousandths. You, um, since they both have a zero, you're gonna have to look here in the thousandths place. So five and three hundred two thousandths has a two in the thousandths place, which makes it greater. So it's gonna be the second. So which one's the least? Good, five and three tenths. So let's put them in order. From least to greatest, we have five and three tenths. We have five and three hundred two thousandths, and we have five and thirty two hundredths as our greatest. Way to go. All right, so let's review. To compare and order numbers, line up the digits. Start at the left and compare place by place. Anywhere that it's not to the same place value, put zeros as your placeholders. Don't change a decimal's value. Remember, the zeros are there to help with location and alignment. Remember, when in doubt, use a place value chart. So as you see, line up decimal points, compare left to right, and then to get them to the same place value, put a placeholder zero. All right, thank you so much for working on this topic with us today. Remember, math is mastered one step at a time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math learning adventures. See you next time in the math kingdom. Bye.